is totally an impromptu vlog right now. Sunday, Brian and Layla Jane have a tradition where they go and walk to the bagel place and get bagels. They call it Bagel Sunday. While they were gone, her bestest friend ever, Shiley, showed up and we decided, well, let's just have all have our bagels together. So Layla was super excited about that. They're gonna go get nails done while Layla's getting her nails done. We're baking. It's just gonna be kind of a fun girls day. And I feel like I've never really showed you all a lot of Layla Jane and her friends and kind of how she plays and interacts with other kids so I thought why not vlog this and just show you guys a fun day with Layla and her friend they want me to show this too this is what we just did today let me explain this a little because they're got they got very excited here so every day Layla Jane asks, like is daddy working today or do I have school today or what day is it today so I thought it'd be fun to get a days of the week calendar and just it's kind of like I just printed off some clip art of things to tape on there. Well, she taped them on to show what happens each day of the week. Sunday, which is where we are today. So we have a little chip clip there because I couldn't find any clothespins. We have Bagel Sunday. Monday, we have a picture showing daddy works. Tuesday, what does that mean, Layla? Going to school. Yep, you have school on Tuesday and daddy works. Wednesday, we don't have any school there, but daddy works. Thursday, we have St. Patty's Day. That happens to be this week. You go to school and daddy works. Friday, that's a big one. Cake Pop Day. Cake Pop Friday. And daddy works. And we don't have anything Saturday. Like we have all, nothing. I'll probably be over so you could do So we could call it Shyly Saturday? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll call it, it Shyly Saturday. Shyly's my best. Yeah. They're upstairs playing right now, so I feel like I can talk to you guys now kind of as a mom too, and just how much I adore this little girl, Shiley. Layla Jane is very shy, and she kind of likes to play by herself. We will go um, have play dates, we'll go places to the playground, and she doesn't really show any interest in wanting to play with other kids that much. She's just a little anxious. I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, COVID. When COVID happened, it was right when she was starting to emerge and like wanting to, like no, most kids would start playing with other kids and we couldn't. I think it's really kind of hurt her and made her a little bit more anxious every time she's around big groups of kids. But there's something about Shiley that Layla Jane just adores and absolutely loves her. She is like the only kid that she will ask for and wants her to come over and play and will like leave my side and go play with her. She's just been truly a blessing for Layla and I'm just wanted to share you guys, share with you all this part of Layla's life because it's really been so wonderful being back in this neighborhood and having Shiley back in our lives again. And I I think she's really helping Layla blossom and bloom and kind of helping her interact and socialize more too. Love this kid and so excited we get to share the day with you and you all get to see their cute little relationship. So normally I am playing this game with her and I'm on the bottom bunk, but now I have been demoted to the floor apparently. No, you go on the I had to sleep on the floor? No, Layla's kind of bossy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I brought these two books. in bed because she's telling me to go to sleep. She's bossing us around. <laughs> no, no talking in bed. Time. time to get their nails done. Next part of our girly day. This nail salon is so cute. Walking distance to our house and they have cute little chairs for the kids and they only charge like $5 just to come and change their nail polish. They don't do the whole massage and everything that we like as grown-ups, but all they care about is the color and it's just a fun little thing to get out and do with the girls. They even have little slushies for the kids. He's sitting getting a massage. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Let me look at your toesies. Oh, I love the gold. Oh, it's a shamrock, I love it. So now that we have beautiful nails, 
Shyly had this blood orange cake mix. So now we're gonna have a baking day. I always see it, like I said, at Trader Joe's, but I've never tried it before. So let's see what else we need. All right, I better get these ingredients out so we can get started. I don't think you got any shells in there. High five. are doing good, good teamwork. Okay, now we'll make the frosting. We're gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter. While we're waiting for the cake, what are you guys doing? I think they're making a potion. Oh, yeah. this looks like it's gonna be interesting. This again is another thing Layla loves to do at home that usually I'm doing with her and making potions. Yes, it does get a little messy. It's like at the end of the day, I'd rather her be socializing and playing with another kid. And I just need to take off my mom hat of wanting everything to be clean and just let her have fun and I can clean later because what's more important right now is her having fun with a friend. Oh, wow. Yours actually looks like it would be delicious, but I don't think I'd want to try it, but it looks like it'd be good. I'm sure it's good. Oh, that's good. It looks so yummy. Layla couldn't wait. No, Layla, not yet. Don't touch it yet. Oh, okay. and look who just got home just in time. Right? Oh, We whoa. just iced it. It looks like meatloaf. It does. It's blood orange cake. It does kind of look like meatloaf, doesn't it? Mm. It's actually, it's so delicious. They did an awesome job. Well, I am going to head out and run some errands right now. Brian is in charge of the two girls. We'll see how he does with those two. I wish I would have done a vlog on this earlier and I might do another vlog a little more in depth, kind of about what we've been going through with Layla Jane, about just, you know, how she's kind of struggled with socialization and just kind of being more anxious. And I don't know if it's, you know, that's just her personality. Like she's just a little more quiet quiet and doesn't want to socialize but I really started to notice when she's around like a big group of people she really kind of gets quiet and um, almost just anxious. I was really glad that I kind of got to do a little bit of a vlog today showing her with her one friend and kind of touch on the subject but I might do another vlog more in depth about kind of what we've been dealing with kind of how we've been trying to help her overcome this too and let me know too I am so curious if your kids who are maybe like three, four years old. You know, you've seen some changes maybe because of COVID or how you've helped your kids overcome just kind of being sheltered so much during this time because I'm always open to suggestions too. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.